It's me, Pam Vinny, and today I'm going to show you how I use these um, Globulon stamps that I received. Uh, these are some really cute, like there's a hedgehog, a little bunny with heart balloons. Look at that little carrot hedgehog with a little flower and some mushrooms. And then I have this one with some cute mushrooms and a fairy. Pumpkins on a fairy and a little gnome house with butterflies. So since I'm working... Oh, and then this one is a cutting die. And it's like a little porthole with fish. So, um, and I will... Um, there's the website... I'll put the description of what I'm using in the, the the item number in the description box. So I'm thinking since I'm working on all these little golden books or not golden books, these are like McNally Junior Elf books, and these are uh, smaller than little golden books. Of course, they're about uh, six and a half, and then about. Not quite four and a half. So, um, yeah, I have these um, started. I have all the the remaining. I had five more. So, uh, they will be the next to be completed. But I thought what I could do is I could stamp on here using the... Um, Stamps. I'm thinking with this uh, Jack and the Beanstalk one, I would use some of these. These little mushrooms would be cute. And they come off nice and easy. I like that. So, let's put... And I'm going to use, you know, just a piece of foam or if you have a, uh, um, you know, a mouse pad. Just, it helps with the uh, imprinting, I think. So I'm going to get the paper I'm working on. I'm just going to put it like this. Let's do these cute little mushrooms. This will be cute. They're cute anywhere. Okay. I think I'll put this right. There. Oh, that's cute. I like it a lot. Isn't that cute? The imprint is really nice. So then maybe on this side, I'll do the other mushroom here. Let's try this one. And I think just a little something like that can just add to your journal page. I think I'll try it on the other side of this. There, maybe. Love it. Look how nicely that printed or printed stamped. So that'll be um, part of the journal cover or journal pages that will fit inside. It's going to be pretty. 
And what else can we try? So that came from this one with the little fairies. Believe in the magic, make a wish, little butterflies. Cute. So this would be, I'll use this in a fairy journal too. Just put those back. So that is this set here and I will put the uh, link or the uh, whatever the uh, item number is in the uh, description box. Okay, so what else can we do? What else would be good? Here's the um, Jack and the Beanstalk journal. I have some of these thin pages. That would be fun to add things to. What else could I do? I might add, actually, I think I'm going to add some of these butterflies. Those are really cute. Stamp them. And it'll just give the page something more added to it since it's blank. Love that. Why don't we add some to the other side? So I'm really happy with the quality of the stamping of the images. So then the book page will be like this. Then you open it and you'll still write, but it's it's nice to have just a little, you know, a little extra embellishment. Love that. And then let me stop and see what else I want to work on. Okay, I think I'm going to, this one, uh, Beth's Happy Day is so cute with her birthday. And there is a Make-A-Wish uh, stamp in here and these little stars coming down. I think that would be pretty. So I'm going to add this. And make a wish. So let's see what page. I haven't taken that apart yet. Let's see. Let's put it. No more of these little uh, sheets here. Maybe this one with the birthday cupcakes. Having fun with these. Hope you're having a great day. We're going to have another beautiful day, I think, in the 80s. Then this weekend we got a little rain mixed in. Okay. Let's see. I think I want it to go. Like that. And make a wish. If I wanted to, I, I could color those little stars in. So there's lots of things you could do. So, yeah, I used a lot of things on those stamps. 
And what else can we do? All right, where's my other stamp? Here's this one. I think I'm going to use some of these cute little uh, birds and flowers. Let's open this one up. So let's put these cute little birds and flowers and a little mushroom here and I think I'll put it on this side Yeah, so I'm doing uh, five more. So how many did I have before? Nine. So I think I'll have 14 of these little elf journals to embellish. Okay, I think this would look cute. There, and I... I, um... I moved my stamp, but I think I could color that in and it would be fine. A cute little bird. Wonder if I'll, maybe I'll add a couple more. Not with the bird, but just these. sounds so quiet here the other day I was like I thought it was the woodpeckers you know banging because we've had that before you know and they're really loud you know they're they're getting bugs out of the tree and they're you know uh, their little beaks are going into the tree and it's loud and so I, I you know I said on my video the woodpeckers are really making a lot of noise and I told my husband that I said, boy, they were just like, you know, pounding, tapping all day. And he's like, uh, those were the uh, roofers down the road. <laughs> and they were, uh, yeah, roofing. Anyway, but, hey, I'm not totally crazy. I have heard the woodpeckers making that loud noise, so. Um, let's see, what else could I do? Um, you know what? I think then I'm going to use the bunnies. I don't want to get this all mixed up. Let's see. So I know I have a bunny journal. That would be cute. Where did I just put it? This one, I think. Yeah. Look at this cute one. I have the uh, little carrots for the spine. For this little um, Peter Rabbit. So let's put some bunnies on there. Let's find some papers that we could use. Let's do this. Okay. You cute. Yeah, let's do some bunnies. This one's cute with a little. Well, let's see. I'll show you when I stamp it.
Okay. Oh, so adorable. And your coax sink, how cute that is. If you wanted to, you could color that, you know, with your markers. So sweet. Let's do a bunny on the other side. Let's do this one. And then let's use one of these little mushrooms. I'm having so much fun with these. And then I'll use my die. Uh, uh, figure out what I'll use that on. The little, like a porthole cutting die. Adorable. Hey, look at those little cheeks. So there we have, when you open up the pages, just adorable little um, stamps, and then you can still write here. Okay. And then I will figure out next, using the die here, what I want to use it on. And then I'm going to be right back. Okay, I just gathered some supplies. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Loose plan. Um, here's the cutting dies. I took them out of their packaging. Wait, there's more. There's more to this. Oh, here. And then there's this with the octopus and the um, seagrass. And look how cute. So, I think what I'm going to do is I have my Sizzix and I have some of this tool, sparkly tool, and some sequins that are like starfish and things. And then I have also this. Uh, Looks kind of like seaweed. So maybe I could use this too. So when I make a mermaid journal, I will have this part done, won't I? I'll have one piece of ephemera. This is from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so then I just have various papers that I cut in half that were eight and a half by 11. Uh, I thought they were complimentary and pretty. So let's start. Oh, wait, I had a. I thought I had a silver paper. I'm going to get like a silver paper. Hold on a minute. Okay, here it is. This little silvery paper. It's really pretty. So let's. I know I want to make the porthole or whatever of oh, the silver and then I might as well do this one too. I know it will cut out other things but I just want to keep it together. You know I don't want to break the little dies apart. shift. It may have. Yeah, I didn't run it all the way through. Oops. Let's try it again. This paper might be hard to cut through.
might help if I had it together. Yeah, before I didn't even have the glass plate wind up with the the bottom plate. Okay. Okay, this. I think I moved it around so much that it uh, did not cut the best. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, let's try it again. This one might be okay. Well, see, I doubled up the paper, too. I think this one's okay. I had moved it. I should have probably taped it down. So let's look. A shell. And we got some little fish. Got another shell. Cute little fish and shells. You could even, you know, stamp. Use this as a uh, template. So I think we're going to work with this cute, like a manhole cover, or porthole. Porthole, not manhole cover. <laughs> and I'm going to do these fish in a different color too, but like I might use this one in the silver. Then these little fishies are cute. And there's a double layer of them, so I'll take those apart. I kind of like the silver. I could just use my uh, markers too. And. Um, you know, color them also. So we've got shells and fish. And I am going to do another color. I think I want to try this color for what do I want this for? I think I'll try this and let's do this one again We'll see. I think it turned out. That's a pretty color. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty with the coral and the fish and the bubbles. And there's the Pretty man, manhole, or not manhole cover, it's a 
what is it my words are gone porthole cover <laughs> not pretty that coral so i was thinking and then we have all these too so i think i'm going to get these all out of here and i'm going to get some more silver and try it without doubling it and and i won't move it or i could just use this one why don't i just use this one okay what i think i'm going to do is use this and put netting cut a piece of netting and i'm going to sit out here a minute And if I glued this, here, I'm probably going to need to get another piece of silver and cut out another shape like this see this is supposed to be a rust free pin and it is not okay so i'll put that here and then i'm going to get another piece of silver and cut okay i have got several little things punched out got my sequins and i have a couple of these because i think i'm going to layer them to give this a little more dimension and i think i need another little thing of little beads Okay, so I just grabbed some seed beads and some more things that could maybe be used like bubbles. And then I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the sequins in. And then on the outside of the frame, I think I'll, you know, put some of the other things. So I might put the, I don't know if I'm going to put the fish in because they might get kind of broken up being that they're paper. So I'm going to add these, a couple of these sheet beads so that it will have movement. And then, I don't know, let's add a couple of fish. I mean, they're paper, but they might be okay. Then, oops. Then I think I'll put these on the outside, mainly. And I'm going to layer up these. I 
like so. And then I'll do one more here and then I'll put that over the over this. See how that works. I'll put that like that, and then, then I'm thinking, yeah, I'll glue the another netting over that. The hot glue would have been better. Possibly. But we're going to try it this way because I don't have my hot glue turned on yet. And then I'm going to put that like that. See what we come up with. Okay. And then I can put this on a page. I'm going to be flipping it over. So it would be like that cute but then what i would do i'm a trim around it maybe maybe i won't and then i'm thinking about putting possibly these here maybe the shells or maybe some of the some of these on there. The little sand dollar. I'm wondering if I want to I don't know. Do I want to ink it? Do I want to use a marker? I have some markers too. I don't have any room here. Um maybe I just want to ink it. And then glue different things. And then this would go on a page or maybe a tag. I think I'll ink this too.
And I think I'll put it here. So I'm not going to glue it all the way down part way. And then wherever I'm going to put it on, like a tag or something when the time comes, I'll figure out figure that out. Then I can add more of these little sequins. And coral. I can add coral. I think I want this to be colored though. Just using my Copic marker. Oops, sorry. I'm wearing a baseball cap. I just hit the hit it. And I think I'll just ink it just a tad too. I'll add it there. And I think I want I want something blue, another little blue starfish. So, um, get a little closer. So this is what I have. using that dye and if I had it on blue paper in my journal that would be really pretty wouldn't it and I kind of like it uh, I think I'm going to leave this because I, I kind of like that um, you know not cut perfectly so that is what I did with the uh, dye so Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll put the link to the Globaland products that I use, the stamps and the dye, dyes for this. I'm really happy with it. It's so cute. So uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.